Megalodon was one of the largest and fiercest marine carnivores that ever lived. Hi everyone and welcome to Fossil of the Week. My name is Hunter Schrader. Now I normally host the show, but I actually have a honeymoon to go get to. So I'm going to transfer it over to our camera guy, Peyton Lasik here. Now shoot, go, get, go on. Okay, okay, go. okay, yeah. okay, okay. You better hurry back. I have no idea how to edit. So as Hunter was stating before he so selfishly went on a beach vacation with his, with his loving wife, um, today's fossil of the week is Otodus megalodon, specifically the tooth behind me here. Otodus megalodon was a late Miocene supersized shark that hunted whales. This tooth specifically is the world's largest. This tooth was found by our founder, Pete Larson, while he was down in Peru. Funnily enough, they unfortunately ran the tooth over while they were searching for fossils. The driver didn't hear Pete tell him to stop and Unfortunately, they heard a loud thud before they got out. The tooth, though, was repaired, as you can see, and is still to this day the world record largest shark tooth ever to be found. So behind my back here, I have a replica of the same tooth that's on display here. This tooth can clearly show just how massive this animal would have been. Massive teeth, very thick teeth, that we actually have evidence on whale vertebra of them biting down and being predated upon by Megalodon. Thankfully for the whales of nowadays, Megalodon went extinct in the early Pliocene when generally it's believed to be climate, climate change and possibly behavior change of its prey drove it to general starvation and just it wasn't very habitable for a shark that big. So we don't have to worry about it coming and clamping down on free willy today. <laughs> so like I said, Thankfully, Megalodon did go extinct, so Hunter's safe on his little beach vacation. But that, unfortunately, is all the time we have today to talk about Megalodon. So if you wouldn't mind like, liking and subscribing to this video, we'll have plenty more fossils in the future. And maybe, just maybe, we might come back to Megalodon, unlike Megalodon coming back to us. Have a good one, everybody.